What is going d -d 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 down? What's up? We're back with another video. Another reaction. It's Daniel. It's Tita. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Help us build up. You know what I'm saying? Help us grow the channel. Um, so there's another video out right now. It's like a news station video. No, this is history of corruption. Georgia DA Jackie Johnson covered up a young mom's murder <laughs> who is now being investigated for uh, uh oh, geez. Got the snooze. I have the snooze. Uh, uh who's now being investigated by uh Mr. Aubrey's case, the DA over in Georgia. Ooh, so there's a, we know that we knew from this case mm -hmm. there's a lot of corruption going on. That's why those guys weren't arrested for two months. Yep. Um, there's friendships, connections within this case that have been is so corrupted. So we're gonna watch this. Georgia DA Jackie Johnson has a history of covering up things. So let's check out this case. Times the cover up was worse than the crime, and the crime was bad enough. Four former prosecutors are speaking out tonight, accusing their former boss of intentionally mishandling this horrific police shooting. And as a Channel 2 Action News Atlanta Journal-Constitution investigation exposed this summer, the South Georgia District Attorney took extraordinary measures to help clear those officers. Investigative reporter Jody Fleischer here with why many on the DA's staff thought her actions were over the line. Justin, the GBI agent who supervised this investigation told us Caroline Small's killing was the worst police shooting he'd ever seen. In July, we exposed records showing how the district attorney who took those officers to a grand jury stacked the deck in their favor. Our reporting prompted several of her former prosecutors to come forward in an effort to right the wrongs that have troubled them for five years. This makes me angry. She's giving them there was no one in our office given this. Former Glynn County Prosecutor David no Peterson could no not one. believe the records our investigation no, uncovered. Sure. District Attorney Jackie Johnson, his former boss, had made a deal with two police officers she was supposed to be considering charging. She took the case to a grand jury but never showed them an indictment. I think the grand jury here was undercut, misused, and abused, and they were lied to. The grand jury cleared officers Corey Sasser and Todd Simpson of a police shooting so shocking none of these prosecutors could believe their eyes. Caroline Small had committed no crime that morning. She drove off when an officer walked up to check on her in a mall parking lot. She drove erratically, eventually blocked in by a utility pole and several patrol cars. On video, one officer said if she moved again, he was going to shoot her. Then they did. <laughs> This was a murder and was covered up. Jonathan Miller resigned to run against Johnson in 2012, in part because of her handling of this case. He said it still troubles him. There's two little kids out there that don't have a mama. She deserves her day in court. Keith Higgins was a senior prosecutor in Johnson's office. He's broken down in tears over how the justice system failed. It has affected me very deeply in that regard and that someone was very brutally killed unnecessarily and nothing has been done about it. He says the officers' claims that they feared for their lives did not hold up against the video and other evidence. The Glynn Police Department took extraordinary steps to protect its officers, creating this inaccurate animation. It shows how Small could have run over the officers, which the investigation proved impossible. The DA showed it to the grand jury anyway. A prosecutor should do what's right, do it in the right way, and do it for the right reason. Ms. Johnson failed to do any of those in this case. He says with no indictment presented, the officers had no right to be in the grand jury room. Johnson also allowed their attorneys to speak, which is unheard of. And she'd given them all of the evidence two months earlier. So who the hell is representing the public? Who the hell is representing Carolyn Small? Johnson excluded those who best knew the evidence, fired colleagues who wanted the case prosecuted, and even a victim's advocate who questioned the lack of indictment. We were frozen out of it. That, that was abnormal. Peterson, who is also an ex-cop, believes Johnson violated prosecutorial ethics and betrayed her duty to uphold justice. He and says she should be impeached. Sometimes the cover-up was worse than the crime, and the crime was bad enough. 
The former prosecutors are now calling on the governor and attorney general to review the case in hopes that the GBI will reopen it. Jackie Johnson declined our request for an interview, but sent a statement saying she took her oath seriously when she presented the case to the grand jury. She did not address any of the specifics from our investigation. So give us a little something deeper here, Jody. What's the motivation here? Why would she go to these extremes? Well, it's possible she may have just seen it differently than those other prosecutors, but they also say she was so concerned about damaging her relationship with the police department that it created a conflict of interest. Now remember, she is elected in a very pro-law enforcement community. All right, Jody Fleischer, thank you for that. Caroline Small's family did file a civil suit in federal court that was dismissed by a judge, never went to jury. The two officers both remain in law enforcement today. Yeah. It seems like a lot of stuff is coming out. A lot of stuff is coming out. With Georgia. You know what I mean? With the police departments over there, the government, um, you know, the governors. And the I just, I just, I feel bad that it, it's like one, one horrible death, you know. It, 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 had, it, it took it, that for the people to start, you know. Yeah, now we're seeing the history of it. You know what I'm saying, down there, so, yeah. That's crazy. That's crazy. I don't know what to say with that. You know, that's crazy. Even even seeing the video, I don't see where they're just from the video footage of her, uh, the lady getting killed by the police. Mm -hmm. Excuse me, I don't see a um, an angle where the police really got ran over. I don't see that angle quite clear. Well, I don't understand that. What they're saying that's why they they fired her. That's why they fired the shots. I don't know. But she moved like... It was, it was unnecessary. Uh, completely unnecessary. unnecessary. The police officers, it, it seems like no matter what a police officer does, mm -hmm. they always get away with it. Yep. And we have friends and, and family that are officers and, and we do not have nothing against officers. So you guys don't think that. Not all officers. Not all officers are bad. Which is like all people are bad. It's bad. You know, officers, it's bad that y'all not speaking up I, like, against your other fellow officers. Just, but it anyway, makes, like she says, is the, the covering is worse than the, the, the crime. So take that in matter. Tell us what you think to start the discussion, discussion down in the comment section. Don't forget to subscribe. Daniel. Tito. Peace. Hey, give this video a thumbs up. Don't thumbs down, but stay down with us. Peace. Peace.